This is Devil Assault on Epic Elite. So I never got to this quest on Epic Elite, or Heroic Elite, so I'm glad to get the chance to run it now on Epic Elite. And it's a level 18 quest on Heroic, and it's a level uh, 21 on Epic, so... Uh, but the Epic is a lot harder than the Heroic, even though it's only three levels of difficulty. And the bosses are different. They're mostly tieflings in the um, in the heroic, and they're all devils in this this one. Stormreach guards huddle at their barricades. The stench of brimstone permeates the air. Guttural chanting ex livers of black metal sprout from the passageways flanking this room. Cradled in their bands, whirl the infernal portals of the Shabarath. The portals of Shabarath flare with activity. The attack has been... Uh, you know, a huge number of orange names. That's part of what makes this quest a little bit tough. Orange names are almost always champions. They hit a lot harder, like a ton of bricks in many cases. And so Garrett seems to be having a little trouble staying alive compared to others. And that's because this is like an arena fight here. Unfortunately, I will. I do have my stun, so censure outsiders, which um, which works on these. They're all evil outsiders. So uh, regular scorpions aren't evil, but anything fiendish is, even if it's in like a spider or something. Borean uh, was doing a ton of damage there, plus applying a debuff. And there's two kind of types of champions. There's the ones that have like a yellow, kind of a yellow crown, and then ones that have a red crown. The red crowns are the worst ones. I'm not going to even bother running to the sides to kill the archers because Cronavir will kill them before I can even get over there. Although it would give, me, give the character good exercise, I guess.
this is a different wave. Chronovir and I have fire, uh, both have evasion, so the fire elementals aren't going to be a big deal to us, but I think that's what was killing Garrick. Or what almost killed Garrick. So it looks like we're actually already on the third wave. So there's five waves total. And there's a boss at the end of the third, fourth, and fifth wave. So at the end of this wave, we'll get a boss and it will be a devil. And DR Breaker is silver and good, which I have with my Keep on the Borderlands weapon. Ebbs, a leader of Shabarath steps through the portal to engage you. And so there's a there's a bow called the Hellfire Crossbow, which is a bow with a lot of fire damage, which is named after this. A leader of this, Shabarath uh, has fallen. You feel the battle leader. may allow you a moment's rest and time to loot the bodies. So yeah, general, um, normally it, people don't loot these chests till the quest is completely done. I mean, there's nothing that says you can't, but that's just the way that parties have always done it, so that's what I've always done. So we, we will have some time, but I don't want to lose the bard buff, so I'm not going to bother shrining.
The savage war cries of Shavarath's devil armies issue forth from the portals. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. what killed Garrett there was magic missiles. Uh, it's a pretty deadly spell. I took a pretty big amount of damage from magic missiles also. Uh, put my shield on. And the next part's going to have, I believe, troglodyte cast warlock. So there will be magic missiles in the next part as well. So I'll just try. I've got 50 minutes. It should be enough. buff since I have uh, plenty of spell points and I'm still getting regenerations. <laughs> Sensor outside is working really, really well against these. Oops. 
seeing it proc a lot. Rest. Have my hireling time rest because he bodies. needs spell points. Hate to lose the bard bus, but I'll be able to at least give him energy resistance. And so just four waves done and just one more wave to go. So I have three uh, points to spend, which I'll do. I'm, I have the epic trainers right right by here, so I should have done that before I came to the quest, but I'll do it after this quest. And I might have a fourth point after this quest. So I'm not quite to the good stuff yet, but I'm almost there. The best thing are these tier four and five enhancements, and then uh, the thick skinned is good. I'll put that down there. That's one of the good things. That gives me uh, damage reduction, 25%, stacking with everything else I have. So when I get that nasty champion, I could uh, click that on and cooldown is, it doesn't say, I'll have to see what the cooldown is. Let's see if it says here, three minutes. Not bad. All right, here they come. They usually come right here to the middle. They didn't come this time for whatever odd reason. There's them. There's my higher leg. Try to get him back up. The, um, my last two play on hands on him. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to keep up Garrett. So I'm just going to let him uh, wait till these elementals are down. Take whatever we can get out of uh, Garrett. I mean, he's useful. I mean, he still helps, but uh, he's not gonna. I don't think he's gonna survive very well in this part. There's also a lot of warlock casters, which reminds me, I'm gonna get my shield spell renewed. Clicky. And 
seems like most of the damage is from the fire elementals. It's getting Garrett. Confused between the um, heroic and epic versions. I think the troglodyte warlocks are the heroic, and then these tiefling warlocks are the epic. Alright, I'm gonna go for the elemental first because that seems to be what's bothering him. a little bit of lag that could be bad in this quest but I think it's okay now be over 10,000. Yeah, so Cronavir is saying between 10 and 11,000 hit points. Which, uh, you know, that's as much as heroic bosses. Yeah, 10,000 hit points on the Warlock, 20,000 for a champ, worth on 15,000 for a non-champ, and this guy has 186,000 hit points, so that's a lot of hit points. Uh, that's almost as much as Sharn, uh, I think a lot of Sharn bosses might be that much or less even. Taking it down pretty fast. Final champion of Shadow has fallen. The assault has been quelled for now. Alright, so now we can loot the chests. We are done with the quest. And uh this is a weird quest because the drop rate is a little bugged on normal. Like, you could actually get more tokens on normal than you can get on elite. Because in elite, you don't get tokens in these chests, but you can get them on normal. It's some sort of a bug, but a good bug. So a lot of times groups will do it on uh, elite, on normal. Uh, so I got one token. I got uh, 54 fragments, so over one. That's nice. And... 
I got a small glowing arrowhead and a demon's blood. So this is used to create some boots and so uh, or some boots of anchoring. And uh, there's a guy that, that gave me a few mats I needed. This is one of them, so I'm going to mail that back to him since he was kind enough to, to give me one of his so I can make my boots for the raid that he was running. All right, that is Devil Assault on Epic Elite.